Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are focusing on the M2, installing the M style carbon fiber mirrors as well as the blacked out smoked sequential mirror blinkers. It's gonna be a good one. All right, so everything just showed up in the mail and I'm gonna show you guys what these look like. This is the same kit that I did on my F30. So if you guys are interested in putting these into your F30 or F80 M3, F82 M4, whatever it is, it's all the same. So. These are the actual sequential blinkers and they're smoked out. And what they do is they blink with an LED that goes in and out, in and out, rather than the bulb that goes like that that we have right now. So these look a lot better. I was running them, like I said, on the F30 and I absolutely loved them. Both of these things I got on Amazon. These were about $80 and the carbon fiber mirrors were about 100 and 120, something like that. So it says F30 M look. Um, these are all the same mirror caps, F80, F30. They're the exact same ones. So here they are. These are actually really, really clean for, uh, for being Amazon. But I found that, you know, I've purchased a few things like these off of Amazon before and I've never had issues with it. So we're gonna go ahead and slap these in the car today. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's a, uh, it's a very easy job. Just make sure that if it's really, really cold where you live, you might wanna wait until it warms up a little bit just because when you take off the glass portion, it's easy to crack that and you don't wanna have to replace it because it's, it's rather expensive from BMW. So we're gonna go ahead and install these in the car today. Like I said, it's a, it's a relatively simple process. Everything that you guys see within this video, including the trim tools, the carbon fiber mirror caps, sequential blinkers will all be linked down in the description. Go ahead and pick it up there if you are interested. All right, my friends, so we are in the garage and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on both blinkers so you guys can see them. So these are obviously the OEM style. Uh, they might even be factory BMW mirror caps, but I, I'm really not sure. So as you can see there, they have the chrome or just the clear with the yellow that just blinks. I think the smoked sequential ones look 10 times better. Uh, they just have that LED that runs out and then they're also all black. So they don't have this like eyesore of a clear light right here. They just look a lot better. And then of course the M style caps, I think they just look a little more aggressive for this car. I don't hate the OEM ones, but my thing, my gripe with all of the F series is that the mirrors are really big. So these kind of just look like Dumbo ears in my opinion. If there's any way that I can make them better, it's probably going to be the M style carbon fiber ones. So we'll go ahead and throw those on. If it was a perfect world, I would have the E90 or E92 M3 mirror caps or just mirrors in general on this car. I think those are the best looking mirrors made. They're a lot smaller and they look way more aggressive. These ones always just look like super large to me, like oversized, but either way, we're gonna do our best to clean them up. So we're just gonna go with the M style carbon and obviously the smoke sequentials. So let's start with the install. What you guys are gonna need is a trim tool and I'll show you which one I like to use. It's the widest one that comes in the kit that I purchased on Amazon and we're gonna stick it back behind the glass here. What we're first gonna do is tilt the glass all the way back and then stick it back here while holding the top and pop it out. And once you pop it out, you have access to a couple of clips back here. Go ahead and just pull this mirror cap off and then we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in. But before we do that, we're gonna install this little sequential spot. And it's real simple. I'm just gonna run you guys through the whole process right now. All right, guys, so we have tilted the mirror all the way back, and now we're gonna go ahead and place all of our fingers on it like this, as flat as possible. The way that this clipping system works is there's a disc behind the mirror that has a bunch of clips in it. So what you wanna do is you wanna detach that disc. Now, when you use a trim tool, use a nice wide one so it gets the most coverage. Well, we're just gonna apply some pressure with these fingers on the Top of the mirror. And start pulling. It should just pop out like that. I'm actually gonna wrap this in a little bit of cloth so it doesn't scratch the car or anything. All right, so there is the clip, circular clip. And like I said, you're just putting that trim tool under here and applying pressure on the bottom until you hear a little click and then just go ahead and use your fingers to pop out the rest of it. But 
that's basically what you're taking out. So, I just found something out that's kind of weird. Whoever makes these mirror caps, do you see how there's like a hole right there? Someone was using screws and washers. See the other two right there, they're all rusted out. It shouldn't, they shouldn't be installed like that. They should actually just be these clips that you just pop in and pop out. So I don't know if someone botched an install or these are just some like super weird cheap mirror caps. But um, yeah, pretty weird. So really it should just be these clips and you just press those together and then pull out and it comes right out. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those out and then take off the whole cap and hopefully it didn't affect anything with these clips so we can still use these. This is crazy. These are OEM BMW. I guess OEM BMW caps use screws. That's really crazy. I thought, I just assumed that all of them were clips, but I guess the OEM carbon ones are screws. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these little mirror blinkers out and it should be just a couple of screws and I believe they just come right out. I think that we just use this T10, take this guy out. There's a couple more T10s on the inside here. I'm just gonna take them out for good measure. I don't know if we have to, I don't think we do, but We'll just take them out just to uh, free any stuff up. It looks like there's three of them on the bottom. So you guys can go ahead and pull those out. Looks like there's four total, four T10s, one in the front, three in the back on the bottom. Once you do that, this whole thing just comes apart like this. And we should have enough room here. Pull this whole mirror part out. Yeah, you do want to take out those three on the inside, those three T10s, because those are holding this clip in. And then once you do that, this whole assembly should just come right out. Like so. And there's a little clip down here. There's our old one, old and new. So I like that this one is all blacked out for obvious reasons. We're doing the black and white theme here. I think you guys will really like the way that this blinks. It just looks way more sleek and modern. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And then you tuck that part down there. The fitment is freaking good. And now we can go ahead and put the, those little T10s. We can put all those T10s back in. So we have one up here and then three in the back. And once you get those put back in, you're good for mirror install time. All right, so just to show you guys the three in the back, that guy right there, this one right there, and then that little one right there. So those three are the T10s that you're gonna take out of the back. And then obviously this little guy right here. Then after that, it all just comes out like you saw. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the mirror cap on. Hopefully it clips in just fine. So we're gonna line it up as best as possible from out here. Look at it. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. These are what your clips look like. Just wanna make sure that those clips all came through and actually engaged but uh, we're good. And so now it's just a matter of throwing the mirror back on, same way you pulled it off. Just go ahead and pop it in there, but when you do it, obviously spread out the pressure. You don't wanna put pressure in one point or you could crack it. Like I said, if it's too cold, probably wait till it warms up a little bit. So let's throw that on and then I'm gonna show you guys the difference of both of these blinking at the same time. All right, so you're just lining these clips up. The disc here. Good. That's a good day. No cracked mirrors. Fitment is actually really good. For Amazon quality, dude, you can't complain. I mean, this looks factory. I actually like the way that this goes on better than factory. I think those screws are weird. Oh, but just wait till you guys see it blink. It looks so much better. Ha <laughs> ha. It looks so good. I missed that. I missed having that on this car. 
Yeah, that looks really good. Look at how cool that is. So, here's our stock ones. So the other ones are also a lot brighter because the amber is coming through black, whereas with the clear, it doesn't really stick out as much. So if you look at that one, then let's go over to the new one. It's so much more pronounced and it just looks so much cooler. What do you guys think? God, this car is looking so good. Oh, this car is quickly becoming my favorite car. So, there you guys have it. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other one. I'm not gonna obviously lead you through that process because it's the exact same process as this one. And then we'll go ahead and open up the garage door and get the, the full frame of the car with both of them on. Got them both in. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the garage so I can have a little more space and you guys can actually see what they both look like with the whole front of the car. But uh, yeah, super easy install. So there you guys go. That's what it looks like. Obviously super sick. Way better than the stock ones. And plus the whole thing is just blacked out now. Carbon and black, all black, just looks so much better. It's the same exact thing I had on the F30 and it just is, all of these little changes, they just add up to this one final package. But this car's just looking so good. This car's looking so good. So some of you guys were worried about the headlight tint. And what I do is I actually upgrade the Xenons to 6,000K. Um, I do have the Xenons for this one. I haven't put them in. I'm gonna do that this weekend and I'll make a whole video for that um, for you guys. So you can see the difference between the, I believe it's a 4,000K that I have in here stock or 3,500, something like that, to the 6,000. Back to the beauty. Absolute snack mode. This car is just so sick. I'm loving it. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Basic, basic install, really, really simple. Carbon fiber M mirror caps with these smoked sequential blinkers. Everything you need, link down in the description. It all came properly packaged, nothing was broken. Fairly quick, within like a day or two on Amazon. So yes, they are Amazon, but the quality is, quality's perfect. I just think that a lot of these products have been made so many times that companies are actually making good quality products, even on Amazon, and they work perfectly. I've never had any issues with the stuff that I use on the F30 and now the M2. I would say that the quality on these M carbon fiber mirrors is a better quality than the factory OEM BMW mirror caps that I had on there. While they may not be dry carbon all the way through, we're not necessarily putting those on for weight savings. So as far as the look and the overall quality, I think they're fine. I'll do a future update for you guys, but I'm pretty confident in the ability of both of these. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Make sure you comment down below, like this video, and hit that bell notification. And just like that, this video is over, and we're out. Peace.